Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, March 9th, 2021 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. We got a quick diary today by Didier about how to combine Yara rules and Cyberchef. Yara rules, of course, are, well, uh, not really regular expressions. Uh, they're really a pattern matching language, kind of meant to detect uh, malware and uh, regular expressions just part of this. Cyberchef is the web-based tool that was created by GCHQ and does allow for various transformations from Base64 to various encryption algorithms. And they will tell you how to combine the two uh, to, for example, more efficiently hunt for visual basic macros, even in compressed files. And Apple today again updated pretty much everything. Safari, macOS, watchOS, iOS, and iPadOS. What's sort of a little bit special here is that all of these updates only fix one particular vulnerability and it's the same vulnerability across all of these operating systems. And that's because it's a WebKit vulnerability. WebKit is the basic library that is being used by Apple to render HTML and JavaScript. And it's actually also used by other browsers. So other updates may be coming. The fact that Apple bothers to release this update just for one single vulnerability may indicate that this vulnerability is exploited. However, this is not stated in Apple's uh, security announcement. And in response to a recent NAT slipstreaming attacks, Google may be blocking access to port 554 by Google Chrome. Slipstreaming refers to a technique where an attacker will trick a browser into connecting to an attacker's site on a specific port, assuming that the firewall is dealing with the traffic using a specific application layer gateway or ALG, and then allowing traffic back into the network on various ports. The reason for this is that sometimes you do have application where the client is connecting outbound to a particular port, then the application is responding on a different port inbound and application layer gateways essentially open these ports uh, respectively. However, uh, this can go wrong and that's what's being abused uh, by slipstreaming. So in response, uh, browsers started blocking hits to particular ports. The problem with this is that yes, you know, most uh, web servers are listening on port 80 or 443, maybe 8000, 8080 and the like. Uh, but yes, there are odd uh, applications that listen on whatever port they feel like. Initially, when Google Chrome first proposed a blocking access to port 554, they did receive some pushback. But more recently, they decided decided it's probably the right thing to do. So if you have an odd web application listening on port 554, make sure you move it off to a different port. And there are a number of other ports that are already uh, being blocked. Uh, like for example, of course, 69, your DHCP port, 137, 161 and ports like that. So uh, I will link actually to a list of uh, those ports in the show notes. Yes, it has probably been a couple of months, but we do have yet another site channel attack that allows the extraction of secrets from CPUs. This latest one is using the ring interconnect, which is essentially the connection between a different cores, a cache and other components on the CPU itself. And of course, since it's a shared component, uh, by observing uh, the availability of this component, uh, you can deduct uh, various states from components connected uh, to this ring interconnect. The 
trouble that the research had to go through was that uh, this component is actually not very well uh, documented. So they had to reverse some of uh, this behavior, but they claim they did manage to get a four megabit per second side channel working that allowed them to extract, for example, encryption keys. As usual with these attacks, there are probably easier ways to escalate uh, privileges on most systems. But some of these earlier like Spectre attacks and such have shown up uh, in some uh, malware code. Well, and this is it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.